Hey Pfingsters, in this video you are going to learn about the difference between greedy and non-greedy quantifiers in Python. So we are using uh, Python's regular expression uh, package re, so you can uh, type in uh, import re. So and uh, yeah, this tutorial uh, shows you the subtle, but it's, uh, it's an important difference between greedy and non-greedy uh, regex quantifiers. And um, yeah, so the first question that you may ask is what is a quantifier anyway? I mean, this is an important question, glad you asked. So let's dive into the uh, different regex quantifiers. So um, I'll do it just by example. So uh, we use a find all function. The find all function finds um, all occurrences of a pattern in a given string. So it's perfect for our um, example. Say we have now I've already shown you the first quantifier. So we have a given string a a a a for a's and we have the um, regex pattern a question mark question mark is a quantifier because it quantifies the number of um, times you we will we, we, we will match the preceding regular expression so for example in this case we want to match the um, preceding regular expression which is just, just the a character zero or one times so the question mark is a zero or one regex quantifier and uh, yeah, it matches the regular expression the preceding regular expression zero or one time so therefore we will have many matches because we will match like we will match uh, this character we will match the empty space in between we will match this character we will match the empty space in between we will match this characters and so on so we will match all of them uh, so if you if you run it yeah basically i mean um yeah it, we will not basically we will only match the uh, trailing empty space because um, uh, it will not consume. So basically, if it is al if it is, has already uh, matched the um, character, the leading character, for example, uh, this leading A, then it consumes it. So therefore, it cannot match it anymore. So it will just match the next character. It tries to match as many occurrences of po uh, as possible. So it would ma basically it would match the, the empty string in between. But if it can, it matches more. So it like matches the second one, like then it would match the empty string. So this is the where it match for our um, quantify quantified regular expression pattern a question mark, but it matches more. So if it can, it matches more. So it matches the third a, then it matches the fourth a, then it reaches this point, and at this point, <coughs> sorry, there's only the empty string left. So it just matches the empty string. So it uh, uh, gives us the because. I mean, the question mark quantifier also allows us to match the empty string, right? Because it, it, we match the regular expression either zero or one time. So this is the first quantifier. Then very quickly go over four more quantifiers. We have the um, quantifier, uh, the asterisk quantifier, which matches an arbitrary number of um, preceding of uh, preceding pattern from zero to an arbitrary number. So we can have me even the empty string would be a valid match, but also like all occurrences of A. So the whole thing would be one match. And then you see, yeah, we the empty string is also part of the match because after it, had ma is, it has matched this whole regular expression, which is like the maximum match you can find for the A, S a star a regex, um, we still have the empty string before us. So we can still can match the empty string, which it does. And then it just returns those two occurrences. Good, then um, similarly, so this A plus operator is very similar to the asterisk operator, which you have just seen. With one difference, it matches at least one occurrence of the character A. So at least one occurrence of the preceding regular expression. So um, like matching the empty string is not an option anymore. Good. So then um, the another quantifier, which is like pretty common is the exactly quantifier so this matches exact number of uh, characters and m of course you need to specify m m can be like two for example which means that we match two occurrences of the preceding regular expression so in this case we match like packages of two regular expressions good so these are the most important uh, regex quantifiers now you know about quantifiers so a quantifier you tell the regex engine how often you want to match a given pattern so let's go into um, into this difference between greedy and non-greedy matching. And so like the definition is a greedy match means that the regex engine, so the one that tries to find your pattern in the string, matches as many characters as possible. So this is a rule. Yeah, just remember this important rule. So for example, the regex engine A+, which you have seen here, matches will match as many A's as possible. 
in your st in this string a a a a. Also, the substrings this substring a, the substring a a, the substring a a a, all of them are valid matches for our regular expression pattern a plus, because a plus just means match at least one occurrence of the um, character a, but maybe more. So of course there are many valid matches, and um, the greediness defines how many or how many the regex engine will actually consume. And uh, if it is greedy, then it will consume as many as possible, basically. So it will match the maximum number of it will give us if it will give you the longest match from a given position in a string. And yeah, as it turns out, all default qualifiers which you have seen here, the question mark, the asterisk operator, the plus, and also the exact uh, quantifier. Um, all of them are greedy quantifiers. They consume or match as many characters as possible so that the regex pattern is still um, satisfied, of course. So, and um, yeah, so if you, I will not repeat these examples because this, these examples basically give you, um, exact, show you exactly that, we, that those quantifiers are greedy. Why? Because again, the asterisk qu uh, quantifier it could match even uh, less characters A. It could match only one A or even zero A's uh, at each point, but it decided to match more A's. So it's greedy. It greedily matches more and more characters. And also here, the question mark quantifier. It would be possible to match zero occurrences of the preceding uh, regex, but it matches one. So if possible, it matches one. So this is like the very simple definition of a greedy quantifier. So it finds the longest match at, from a given position. Okay, then the question arises, what is a non-greedy match? And a non-greedy match means that the regex engine matches as few characters as possible, so that it still can match the pattern in the given string. And so for example, the um, now this is a new thing. So the regex a plus question mark. Uh, so it matches as few A's as possible in, in our string A, 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 okay? So thus it, it matches only, so as you will see in a moment, it matches only one character A and then it's done with it. So like these two symbols here, they don't mean first the plus quantifier and then the question mark quantifier. It's not a combination of those both greedy quantifiers which you have seen previously, but those two symbols together, they are a new quantifier. And this quantifier, basically with a trailing question mark, um, means non-greedy match. So this is like the non-greedy version of the plus quantifier. And you can have a non-greedy version for all of those quantifiers. You can just, just add another question mark after all of those qu quantifiers and you get the non-greedy version of it. Okay, so this is a very powerful um, extension ma many people don't know about. And uh, yeah, so if you, if you execute this, you see it's different. So here our regex a plus finds all a's here our regex a plus question mark so the non-greedy version of the plus uh, quantifier it matches only one a because it is done it with it it has already satisfied the requirement of matching a plus basically yeah so it matches the, the shortest it gives us the shortest possible match from a given position in the string and um yeah, we and basically we can make all default quantifiers, the question mark, the asterisk, the plus operator, even this exact operator. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense basically, but um, I think it's, so it makes more sense for the, um, let's first check the other quantifiers. So we can have the same for the, um, for the asterisk operator. And you, and you see now the output is different because if possible, it also matches the minimum number, which is like zero occurrences. So it, it like first it matches, it matches this. So it starts, the regular expression engine starts here at the leftmost position in the string. Uh, there's an empty string. So the empty string is already a valid match. So this will be returned. It's like the shortest possible match for our regex. It was already valid. So it returns this. And then it consumes the empty string. So it's done with the empty string and now it needs to match one character A from this position. So, but now it has matched one character A. So this is like the minimum match at this position at this point in time. So it returns just the A, it consumes it. So it is at this pos position. And again, here we have the empty string in front of us. So it matches the empty string. It returns the empty string and so on. Yeah, so it uh, really tries to, it really matches the minimum number of um, times it's a non-greedy match and 
even for the question mark you can have the non greedy version yeah so um we have you just write two question marks so you see you have this trailing question mark for all quantifiers that make a greedy quantifier non greedy and we can have even the non greedy version for the so i didn't show you this quantifier it matches exactly between m and n copies of it uh, of the uh, regular expression or repetition of the regular expression pattern and so in this case of course we need to define m and m say we have like two or three and now you will see that it will match only two so it matches the minimum number of times and if you if you would use this without a greedy quantifier so let's let's get rid of the greedy quantifier it will match three a's okay so because it will it is greedy it matches as many as possible good okay so this is the difference between greedy and non-greedy matching i have explained you all the quantifiers i've explained you the different um uh, how to make the standard quantifiers which are greedy non-greedy by just adding a question mark to the end and um and there are then one common question is which is faster greedy versus non-greedy and considering that the greedy quantifiers match maximum uh, maximal and the non-greedy quantifier matches a minimal number of pattern patterns it's often the case that the non-greedy version is faster so if you optimize for speed and you don't care about greedy or non-greedy matches and you don't know anything else then go for the non-greedy quantifier okay so in this case it's best to go for the non-greedy non qu uh, quantifier yeah sometimes of course in practice it's not as simple so there are different other factors for example it it really depends on the regular expression sometimes the non-greedy version can be even more complicated to match um and uh yeah so i've uh, um I, i've done uh, some some performance uh um tests so maybe i can show you one one of them so we have import time it so time it is good for testing performance of different uh um, short commands python commands so say now we first import the regular expression engine re and then we find all occurrences of the pattern a star in a very long chain of a's and yeah that's it so first we time this invalid syntax okay so i have what, I, what did i do wrong re dot import ah okay i didn't import it properly so import re Good, so this shows us, now this is a greedy version and the greedy version takes 1.3 seconds. Let's check the non-greedy version. I just copy and paste everything and add the question mark here. And now this takes much longer. You can already see it, it already, like it has still not converged. Now it's done, so it takes 4.9 seconds. So in this, in this particular version, it took us longer. The non-greedy version took us longer. So why is that? So what, what is the reason for this? And I mean, it's simple. If you just check out the output, let's check out the output for the, um, for the greedy version. And you can see the output has, it's a list of two uh, regular expression uh, of two um, matches. We have this long chain of A's and then an empty string. So it's only two, uh, the output has only, the list size of the output is only two. Now, if you have the greedy version, the list is, a, is very long. Okay, you can see it here. So we have the empty string, A, empty string, A, empty string, because all of them are empty matches. And of course, if we have more matches, the, if the find all function needs to process more matches, it takes also longer. Um, because it goes over all matches, it matches, it returns from the matching function, then it goes to the next, it prepares the regular expression and so on. So it's like, it's a multi-step process. There are much more steps involved. Here it just consumes A, 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 it just reads all the A's, then it's done with it in one pass. And uh, here it like needs many passes. And <coughs> so you see, it depends on, on the regular expression. In general, in general non-greedy is more efficient and it's faster, but for some functions like find all and some combinations of patterns, it might be actually uh it might actually take longer good so um that's it for now i i, I keep the video as is i think this is the most important uh, information you need to uh, know about greedy and non-greedy quantifiers in python thanks for listening and see you in the next video bye